source LLMs have gotten super powerful. You can now generate your own audio files, your own text to video, image to video, and even do your own face swaps locally on your own computer without paying for any of it. You don't have to worry about privacy issues. You don't have to send your data to big companies like Google or OpenAI. And the best part is it's actually become very, very simple. I'm gonna walk you through the entire process right now. All right, so we're gonna start with the more techie way to run these. And the easiest way that I've found to do this in your terminal locally is using something called Olama. So you're gonna go to olama.com, you're gonna download Olama. And once you do that, you have access to basically every open source model that's out there right now. And all you basically have to do is open up your terminal. So I'm gonna hit CMD here, I'm on a Windows PC, but you could do this obviously on a Mac, a Linux, whatever you're using. And then once you've installed it, you're gonna hit, you're just gonna type Olama here in the terminal and you should see something like this show up uh, that shows available commands and prompts and things like that. And then you can come in here and actually install these. So Gemma 3, for example, like let's say I wanted to run a llama Gemma 3 1 billion, like their smallest model here. I would just come here, I'll grab this, I would drop this in the terminal and I would just hit enter and you're gonna see it's gonna start downloading this right now. And once this is done downloading, I can go ahead and run Gemma 3. So you can see it's actually downloading pretty quickly here. I'm gonna cancel this. I already actually installed the uh, 27 billion one. So if I come here and I type this and I hit run or I just hit enter here, it's gonna go ahead and run the 27 billion parameter model. I'm actually using a pretty powerful PC here. I'm on a 5090. So the examples you see today are gonna run probably a little faster than um, on your standard you know, computer, even if you have a gaming computer, unless you have a 5090 or a, you know, a better graphics card or something like that. So, so you can see it says send a message here. So this is already ready to go. So I'm just gonna say, what is the meaning of life? And it's gonna start doing this for me all right okay buckle up because this is a big question you know and then it just starts answering the meaning of life it's not running super fast here i, I think i have a few other processes running here that's slowing this down if i kind of cleaned up my task manager here if i kind of you know took a few things off the task manager here, I'm sure it would probably run a lot faster. Um, you know, I have OBS running and, and a few other things, so it's slowing it down a little bit, but you can see it is running relatively fast. This is 27 billion parameters, so it's a pretty big model. And again, I'm on a 5090 system, and it's still running relatively um, slow here. So if you wanted to run faster models, what I would recommend is running something like the 1 billion parameter model here, right, with a 32K context window. So I'll go ahead and finish downloading this. So let's just cancel this process, say buy, slash buy, is gonna exit that. Uh, and I'll just install 1B here. So just to kind of show you how much faster this is gonna be, once this is installed, you're gonna see that it's much, much, much faster. So while that's going, I'm gonna show you the next thing here. So the next thing I wanna show you is called Pinocchio.computer. So you're just gonna go to Pinocchio.computer, so no.com, anything like that, and you're gonna download this. Now, this comes from a guy named Cocktail Peanut on X, Awesome, awesome uh, follow there. He does a ton of open source stuff. He's like probably my favorite follow right now for open source AI stuff. He's really, really good. And he put together this thing called Pinocchio. So in order to run this, you're gonna download it. So there's a you know different uh, installer path here for Windows, Mac, Linux, just download the one that works for you. And once you download it, you're gonna have access to it here and you can come to the homepage. So let's just run back here. Let's see if this is done. All right, it's done. So let's send a message. So just to come back to our example here to show you how much better this runs with smaller models, uh, I'm just gonna say, what is the meaning of life? And this should run, you see how much faster this is because it's the 1 billion parameter model. Uh, it runs way, way, way faster. So something to keep in mind, even on a fast PC, if you're running these big models, it is gonna be a little slower, especially if you have a lot of stuff running in the background. So you're gonna wanna use lighter weight models depending on your PC and the use case that you have. So coming back to Pinocchio, this is really, really cool. And this is basically um, one of the main things I wanted to show you. Although Olama is awesome, it's a little bit more tech heavy. Uh, Pinocchio is very, very user friendly for people that are not super techie. So basically you download Pinocchio, you're gonna see something like this. I'm gonna go to the Discover page here and you can see all the different stuff you can download. So um, this is a, uh, a video model. So this will actually create video for you. Um, this one's actually made for GPU poor machines. So, you know, machines that don't have powerful GPUs. So this is saying five gigs plus. I'm on a 32 gig uh, GPU right now. So, you know, smaller GPUs, obviously you could run stuff like this. Then you have like image models, right? Generate images, another video model, a text to speech model, another video model, a model to actually create 3D. I'm sorry, this is actually a 3D model to create 3D models, another 3D model one, um, one to generate songs. 
So you can see there's so much different stuff here. Remove uh, images or remove backgrounds from videos. So tons of really, really cool stuff here that you can download 100% free and run them locally on your computer. Browser use is another really, really cool one. Um, you can run an AI agent directly in your browser to basically do tasks for you. So I could have an AI agent running in my browser, running on my computer, doing work for me. Really, really tons of cool stuff here. And 100% free running locally on your computer. So um, I downloaded a few just to kind of give you some examples. So I'm gonna come back to the homepage here. And I'm going to show you some of the ones that I have here. So let's start with uh, let's start with this Orpheus uh, text to speech. I thought this was pretty cool. So let's open this up. Let's get this started here. So I've already uh, downloaded these ahead of time. So I'm just hitting start here to get these started. And so once you've downloaded and installed them, um, they're pretty big. This is like six gigs. So you know a lot of these open source models are pretty big. So you're gonna have to keep that in mind. You're gonna have to have some space in your computer. But once you have this downloaded and installed, you're just gonna go ahead and run it. And then once this is started, I'm gonna show you how this works. All right, so Orpheus is up and running. Now you might've heard of 11 Labs. I know that OpenAI has a text-to-speech model, but again, this is 100% free. It's open source and you can use it locally right now. So, and the other interesting thing about open source models is that because they're open source, you can get around a lot of the issues that you have with these closed source models, like content detection filters and, you know, doing stuff that maybe they're not going to let you do, right? For certain specific reasons, right? They're going to kind of hold you back, right? So I'm going to give you an example of that. So I'm going to say, hi, sexy, you're looking great today. Okay, so this is something that might get you blocked on different text-to-speech models because they don't want you to say stuff like that. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this in a female voice here. And we're gonna generate this. I'm gonna take a few seconds and you see it's generated and I'm just gonna play this now. Hi, sexy. You're looking great today. So you can see that <laughs> it, it did that. Uh, I could use a different model here. So let's use a uh, Mia. I'll generate this. Hi, sexy. You're looking great today. So you can see that it's doing what I'm asking, right? And I can actually even use an API. So I could run this locally. I could run this on a server somewhere. Um, and I could use an API to actually, you know, put this out there and actually use this model. So, but again, I'm using this locally. I'm doing stuff locally. And, you know, you have really powerful tools like this that are 100% free with a lot less of the guardrails that you have when you're using closed source stuff. So some pretty cool stuff here. So I'm going to stop this uh, to free up some GPU space. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to our browser here. So let's go back. Let's go home. And I'm going to show you uh, another really cool one. So this is Hunyan Video. So this is uh, this is coming from Tencent. You might have heard of Tencent. They're a big, big company out of China. Uh, and something really interesting I, I'm finding here. So I'm just going to hit the fast model here. The original is a lot slower, but it's a lot uh, better quality. So again, it's just kind of doing a trade-off, right? You're going to have slightly lower quality, but you're going to be a lot faster if you're using slower GPUs. If you have a fast GPU, you want to take the time to do it. You could obviously use the, the bigger models, right? That's totally up to you. But, you know, like I said, China, for whatever reason, is really coming out of the gates hot here and doing a ton of really cool stuff in the open source AI world. They seem to be dominating it right now. I know Facebook's trying to do a lot of stuff with Llama, but DeepSeek and Tencent and Alibaba even doing a lot of really big stuff. So so you can see here, it's really, really plain here, right? So AI text to video generator updates uh, by Tencent. And um, this was actually developed by a guy named Deep Beep Meep. So thank you, Deep Beep Meep for this. Uh, and we're gonna come in here. And so we see you have a prompt, right? So here's our text prompt. The large orange octopus is seen resting on the bottom of the ocean floor, blah, 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 right? This huge long prompt, right? I could change this to be whatever I want. I can select a resolution. I'm gonna leave this as is at 540p because I want this to, to go pretty fast here. I'm gonna set these frames. So this is, you can see it's five seconds here. I could actually bring this all the way up to like, you know, a lot more frames. So I'm sorry, 24 frames is one second. So let's see, 24. So if I wanted a five second video, let's see, 24 times five. I'd be 120. So let's make it a three second video just to uh, save some time here. So 72, so let's come back. Let's do 72 frames. All right, we'll keep it right there. 72, I'll just type it in. And I'll leave this interference steps. I don't even know what that means. There's advanced options too if you wanna get really uh, into this with negative prompts and things like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and generate this. So uh, it's gonna go ahead and generate this video. It's gonna take a little time and then we're gonna see what this looks like. All right, so our video's done. You can see it took 61.9 seconds, so a little over a minute, and let's check it out. All right, so 
We did get our octopus moving around a little bit. It, it moved on to a different frame here. So um, I actually tested this earlier and it worked a little bit better. The octopus moved around a little bit. So you can keep trying this and, and working on this. And obviously you can work on your prompts and doing whatever you want here. Um, and these, these aren't gonna be quite as good as the closed source models, right? Like runway and things like that. Although these have gotten way, way, way better. So I'm sure if you played around with this, you could actually see that it generates some really, really good video. And again, 100% free running locally on your computer, right? And again, you could remove some of the guardrails here and do a lot of crazy stuff that you want to do um, and actually, you know, get in there and do that kind of stuff. So totally up to you, but really cool stuff. Uh, again, only took about a minute to get three seconds of video here. Uh, I'm sure if I was running less processes, this could actually be a lot faster. So it's just, you know, kind of, you know, what, what you're working with, right? But um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this. And I'm gonna show you the last example here, which is Face Fusion. So Face Fusion, same thing, you're just gonna run it. Um, Face Fusion actually opens up in a new tab here. So I have it open in a new tab here. So let's do an example. So the way Face Fusion works, and this is basically like a deep fake swapper. So I saved the best for last because I thought this was really, really cool. And something that I don't think a ton of closed source models are doing right now, which is this face swap thing. So you basically come in here and you have a bunch of options. This is uh, Face Fusion 3.12. So I can come in here, I'll hit face swapper, I'll hit face enhancer. So this actually just makes it tiny bit better uh, if you hit the face enhancer. I've, I've played around with this a little bit. Um, if you don't hit that face enhancer, for whatever reason, it's just not as good of a result as if you do. So I went ahead and, and did that. So the face swapper model I'm gonna use is um, in swapper 128 FP16 here. It seems to be a pretty good one. Um, we'll leave this alone. I'm gonna use CPU and CUDA. So since I have a 5090, I can use that. And I'm gonna bring the thread count up here to, I'm just gonna max this out, 32. I'm gonna leave this as is. And I'll leave this as is also. So we're not gonna limit the rest of this. So you can see the result. I, I did a test earlier, but I'll show you how this whole thing works. But um, so I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna get a source image. So I'm gonna grab a picture of my face uh, and then I'm gonna get a target video. So I downloaded a video of uh, Brad Pitt talking here from TikTok. So you can see I, you know, my face on Brad Pitt doesn't look amazing, but you can see how this works, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and run this. Just hit start. And uh, yeah, you can see it's starting to work right away. It's extracting. Let's do that again. So you can see it's extracting. So it's gonna go relatively fast because I have this set up um, pretty high for the uh, the uh, thread count. So that's gonna it's gonna go a little bit faster maybe than than on other PCs. But basically, it starts the face swapper. Then it's gonna stop start the uh, the face enhancer. So it's gonna run both. Then it's gonna merge those two, uh, and it's gonna show me the final product. All right. So it's done. Uh, took about. 97 seconds, so only a minute and a half to do this. Uh, and I think this is like a 30 second, 48 second video. So actually pretty fast. So let's watch a little bit of this and just uh, maybe hide your kids. It's a little scary. I got a morning wash. I do my serum. I do my day cream and I'm done. I'm out the door. So that's me. My top five beauty tips for my vintage years would be being surrounded by friends and family. I think staying creative is a big part of it. And then, of course, eating somewhat healthy. I, I believe in a cheat day, but mostly healthy. Staying physical, nothing by it. So, I mean, you can see it works really, really well, uh, especially if you have this face enhancer on. It really does a very, very good job. So here's the target. You know, here's my face, here's Brad's face, and here's this sort of uh, Frankenstein put together here. So uh, it's it's pretty interesting uh, and it's pretty cool. And and yeah, this is, a, again, available to you 100% free. You can run this locally. Could go a little slower, could go a little faster depending on your PC, but that is basically the process. Now, one last thing I wanted to show you. So I am in the Pinocchio folder here. So I installed it basically C, Pinocchio folder here, and I'm in the API area. So this is where you have access directly to the Git. So I can actually come in here and edit this open source software. So if I wanted to make edits to the open source software, if I'm good enough to be able to actually edit this, I could do this. Uh, I could actually come in here and edit some of the actual files here that run that run this open source software. So if you feel so inclined, you could actually make edits to this and do whatever you want. Obviously, don't do anything unethical, but uh, again, this is open source software and you can do whatever you want with it. That is the point of open source software. So uh, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you wanna learn more AI stuff like this, and please drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about open source models, where AI is headed, how China is dominating open source models. Uh, and if you do some cool stuff with open source, let me know about that as well.